Hello my dear friends welcome now we are going to see about what is even char graphs rule so even char graphs rule was invented by even char graph so he identified about the nitrogenous bases in dna so you will see this even char graphs rule in dna structure near the nitrogenous bases let's see what it is char graphs rule chemical studies on the bases means nitrogenous bases so in the center of the dna you can see like the steps two steps and three steps two steps and three steps what are those two steps and three steps is bonding between the nitrogenous bases which are we call it as complementary nitrogenous bases okay so were performed by irwin char graphs in the year 1950 according to char graph the percentage of adenine is equal to the percentage of thymine okay so because adenine will always bond with thymine so the number of adenine will always equal to number of thymine so adenine is represented as capital a thymine is represented with capital t and the percentage of guanine is equal to the percentage of cytosine okay means because the always the cytosine will bond with guanine or the guanine bond with cytosine so the percentage of cytosine will always will be equal to guanine so the percentage of a plus g equals 50 percentage and the percentage t plus c equals 50 percentage because adenine will always pair with thymine guanine will always pair with cytosine so a plus g is if a plus g is 50 percentage T plus C is equal to also fifty percentage. So the amount of adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine in DNA varies from species to species. But the amount of adenine, if you know the amount of adenine, you you can tell the amount of thymine because adenine will always pair with thymine. If you know the amount of guanine, you can tell the amount of cytosine. So in that case, if you know the amount of adenine and guanine. you can tell the amount of thymine and cytosine because it is constant in each and every species this rule we call it as char graphs rule because it is invented by or discovered by erwin char graph so he is the person erwin char graph so the number of purines will always equal to the number of pyrimidines the purines are adenine and guanine the pyrimidines are thymine and cytosine okay so the number of purines will always equal to number of pyrimidines if the purines are 50 then the pyrimidines also will be 50 because the purines will make a bond with pyrimidine adenine and thymine will have double hydrogen bonds guanine and cytosine will have triple hydrogen bonds this we call it as char graphs rule